All right. I'm hoping you've all attempted it. So there's multiple ways you can draw this picture. Person on a swing at some sort of angle and they weigh 50 kilograms. So what can we do with this? Weight force is the mass times the acceleration according to gravity, which is very good. So that's force acting down, the negative J direction. Um, the swing rope... Oh, there's also... Sorry, I completely skipped this bit. <laughs> there's also a horizontal force acting... So you could label it, I don't know, A, applied force, 200 newtons in the positive I direction. So we're trying to figure out what is the force acting on this rope, T, tension, or R for rope, whatever you want to call it. So you could have drawn it like that, or you could have drawn it like um, this. So weight applied some sort of tension force in the rope. Either way, it's not a big deal. Okay? So we're trying to figure out what T is and what is the angle between W and A. W and A, they are at... 90 degrees, so we can use Pythag. Okay. I don't know why you needed to do that, but sure. Um, and this is equal to 490 newtons. So we've got 490 squared plus 200 squared and that's approximately equal to 529 newtons. How many decimal places? Two decimal places. Two five. So that's the force acting on the rope or the chain or whatever type of swing you have. So there you go. Now when you go home you can... Calculate that for your little nephew or something. <laughs>